everyone. Nice to meet you in my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Lee from Bukit Bantaja, Penang. And um, right now, I'm staying in uh, Kluang, Johor, also in Malaysia. And uh, in Kluang, Johor, I have my own tuition center, which I'm teaching every day. And besides teaching, I'm also doing the administrative work. During my free time, I like to uh, upload videos, to share my knowledge in English, to share skills that I have with everyone. So that everyone will benefit because I realize that not everyone can come and, and learn from me face to face. So therefore, I decided that I will use this wonderful platform, YouTube, to promote um, the love for English. It's an indirect campaign for everyone in any part of the country, in any part of the world, to master the English language so that it's easier when we are doing uh, communicative work or written work. It can be used in any part of the world because it's an international language. So it's good for us uh, here in Malaysia or in any part of the world to know as much as we can about English. And therefore I'm here and I'm here to uh, uh, promote this campaign, Love for English. And I hope that uh, through my videos, you will learn more about English and get uh, more interested in English. I think that's very important because when you're interested in the language, you actually can, you know, uh, go one step further by reading articles or listening to news or watching movies or listening to songs or going to YouTube and so on, all in English. So that is why I'm here today. So today, I would like to uh, touch on a question, actually, a problem posed by a subscriber. And, you know, this subscriber is a very special person because uh, he or she has been asking on and off, you know. Uh, uh, he or she has not stopped asking because I have not been uh, actually uh, doing this particular thing. I did it in one of my videos of prepositions, but I did not really go into this particular word of. And since I'm free now, free in the sense that uh, I can upload uh, videos more uh, regularly, more intensively. And because I'm waiting for my book to be published, uh, to be printed actually, so I I have more time, so I look into the uh, questions asked by the, our subscribers and then I'm now actually, you know, answering questions by subscribers. So today is this uh, subscriber's turn, the word of. So you know I'm Dr. Lee and now my book is ready, it's all complete with 1384 questions. Uh, the book is 100% focus on grammar with explanation and answers behind. So if you want to purchase the book, please book it now. WhatsApp to me and let me know you want the book. Because once the book is out, I will go to this platform, YouTube, and I will uh, discuss every chapter of my book in YouTube. So for those people who have bought the book, uh, they can actually do the questions at home. They can try and they can look at the answers behind which I have provided and see if you, got, you can get the answers correctly. So if you can get the answers correctly, that would be wonderful. But if you cannot, it's okay because uh, you can still go up to YouTube and uh, go to my channel and then you can you know, follow the, the, um, my video. Uh, every chapter I will discuss with uh, you. So now is the time for booking. In the month of May, I will open again booking through WhatsApp. Courses that I will be organizing in uh, during the December holidays outside Johor. That means um, not in Johor. 
where I will organize courses, different different courses, not only grammar, other courses as well. Uh, maybe three or five days. Then, uh, if you are interested, you can make your booking um, using WhatsApp. I will announce in May. So now I'm going to uh, teach you off. Today should be lesson one one four. Should be. So how do you use off as a subscriber? Ask. Why is it we use off the subscriber as? So today I tell you, off is actually a preposition. Preposition besides off is like in, on, under, over, about, for, from, between, and so on. One of it is off. Now, preposition. The first thing we need to know is off means belonging to. We use of to show people that this belongs to this person. So for example, I use it as a thing. This is the cover of the book. That means I use of to show that the cover belongs to the book. The owner. The owner of this cover is the book. Number two, we use of when we mean relating to. Relating to means about talking about something. For example, he dreams of becoming successful. What does he dream about? What does he dream of? Ah, he dreams of becoming a successful person. Here, of means about, about something. Okay? Number three, we use of to show a specific number or amount. Specific, 10 persons, 50 ringgit. Okay, or just say that there are many, to mean many. So for example, the number of pupils, you don't say number of pupils, but the number of pupils. The of here means the fixed number. Specific means fixed, so it's 10. The amount of money, the amount that we want, fixed. 50 ringgit. Here we use of, of money of pupils. Of course, you can say the number of um, people in, the number of uh, females or ladies in the university is increasing. You can also say that. I don't have to say how many, but I still say the number of, the amount of. You can also use of in the word all or a part of something. Example, all of you, some of them, or some of us, two of them, three of them. So again, you can see, it's in a big group, but a certain number, a certain amount or part. Then you use part of, okay? Number five, containing. And you can also use to mean collective nouns. Collective nouns is actually one uh, lesson by itself, which I is in my book actually. So, if I want to say this glass contains water, what do I say? This is a glass of water. So the of here means contain. It's inside a box of chocolates. That means the chocolates are inside the box, and the box contains chocolates. Then you use of. A class of pupils, a herd of cows, a fleet of cows. This one is collective nouns, B, C, and D. These three are collective nouns, group, one group of. And lastly, we use of to mean composed of. Composed of means uh, one thing. It is made up of many, many things, or made up of one thing. For example, this box is made of paper. Um, this bag is made of leather. So made of, that means um, the component is composed of something. Then we use of. So this uh, uh, subscriber actually asked me. She said, she gave three examples. These are the three given by the, the subscriber. 
So this subscriber says, Law of the jungle, clash of the clans, keep out of reach. What does it mean? Why do we use? Well, law of the jungle is this one. Belonging to. That means, the law is the jungle's law. The law belongs to the jungle. The clans, clan is a group of people. Clash, fighting. So the fighting is belonging to the clans. It's not other people. And then she's, uh, this subscriber says, keep out of reach. What does it mean? She or he wrote, keep out of. So I want to tell you that this one is not of. This one is out of. That is why I underline two words. It is not of. And this is called a phrase. A phrase is a two words or three words in one sentence. You cannot take out one. So here you cannot ask me, what is of? You can only tell me, ask me, out of. Okay? Or get out of my house. Out of. Two words are together. That means you, you leave. So get out of which means to say, don't touch. It is two words in one. So you cannot separately ask the meaning. What is the meaning of of here? Cannot. Because the of belongs to out. And then out must go together with get out of or get out of. You know, there must be a verb in front. So it belongs to phrases. So the word of here cannot ask what is the meaning of of here. And this subscriber wrote to me, Law of the Juggle. This subscriber did not say law of the jungle. This one is Iraq. So I want to tell you that jungle has another meaning. Jungle is not jungle. Jungle is forest, a place where there are many trees and shrubs and plants. But jungle, if you have been to a circus or if you have seen performance where people take three or four balls and then they throw in the air, they throw three or four and then they start catching, 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 catching. That's called to juggle. And that person is called a juggler. A juggler is an entertainer who makes people laugh by throwing many, many balls and, you know, and catching them. Not only laugh but to enjoy. Juggle can also use, be used when we talk about uh, people who do two or three jobs at the same time, two or three things at the same time. So to juggle. Um, work in the office, come back, do housework, look after the children, send the children here, send the children there, come back and then do other, other things, go to the bank. Then I say you juggle between so many jobs. That means one, at one time you do many, many jobs or in one week you do three or four jobs. Then I can say you juggle. Okay, so that's all for today. I have actually finished. Uh, what I want to um, teach today about the usage or the use of, of as requested by a subscriber. So if you like my video, enjoy it, please support me by giving me a like, share and subscribe. Thank you.